Hey guys, it's Morning Kills again, and I'm going to show you how to do the new Conquest uh, minigame. Uh, this guide will be split into some parts. First, we get the introduction, uh, then, I'm going to show you how to get there, uh, the rewards, what, uh, how you can get a better rank, uh, the different units, the different formations, and some tips and tricks from me. We first start with an introduction. Uh, the Conquest minigame is something similar to chess. It is a strategy minigame uh, where you have to kill units with your own units. And it's not really a force fight, but it is to use your head and uh, use the good units against the units of the other player. So... Okay, the second part is how to get there. It's really simple, just uh, use your Explorer's Ring 3 and use the Cabbage Port. Uh, you will now be at the cabbage field just uh, above Port Serene. Uh That's where you want to go because you want to go to the Void Knight Outpost. Um, that's also the place where uh, pest control is. Because Conquest is kind of an um, extended version of the pest control minigame. Um, just talk to the same guy uh, where you have to go, uh, where you have to talk to to go to pest control. Um, now go here and talk to the squire, travel the squire. This boat ride is for free, so you don't have to pay anything. You'll now be at the Void Knight Outpost. And just west of there is the Conquest minigame. Now the third part is about how to uh, buy something of your points you just got from the game. It's really simple, just exchange from Captain Lethar or um, use exchange from Knight Dorian, it will both be the same. Um, he will see some different uh, things you can buy with it. Attack experience, strength experience, defense experience, constitution experience, range experience, magic experience and prayer experience. Uh, these will differ because your level will be different. The equipment you can buy is full void and some uh, void armor like the void mace and the void deflector um, and you can buy some consumables which will be the herb pack, the mineral pack, the seed pack the spina charm, the torture palm the torture charm sorry the ravager charm and the shifter charm now if you first enter conquest your conquest rank will be a thousand if you win games your rank will go up if you lose games your rank will go down uh, the higher your rank, uh, the higher um, other players you need to um, defeat to get the same amount of points. So if I am rank 1400 and I defeat someone with a rank of 1000, um, I will get less points uh, than if I would defeat a rank of like 1700. Because it's a larger difference um, than a 1000. Now to start the game, you have two parts you can go in. You have the auto matching barrier and the challenge barrier. If you go into the challenge barrier you can right click someone and use challenge. He can accept your challenge and you can fight whatever you want to. If you go to the auto matching barrier anyone who is in that barrier um, will be automatically um, uh, matched against you. So it will be completely random. When you first start off at conquest you will be set with the uh, with, um, same setup as everyone. To change that setup you can uh, right click on Knight Dorian and select recruit. Uh, there you can change your um, your uh, troops. So if I want instead of a mage and a foot soldier I want another champion you can do it by just selecting another champion. Um, to select different commands just um, use the select commands button and you can select different commands. Every command has a special ability in in game. So Battlecry will um, will gain the attack damage and gain the um, uh, health uh, of one monster for one turn. Charge can make you um, move the double of your normal uh, squares. Vigilance will let you attack first and regenerate uh, heals one of your squads by 150 points. Of course there are some different uh, commands you can use but I just use these one. If you want to um, change them, just click on it and select a different one. Okay, the first unit you can use is a scout. 
the movement is 6, the damage is 100, the health is 100, the range is 1, and it costs 25. The second one is a foot soldier. The movement is 4, damage is 100, the health is 300, and the range is 1, while well it costs 50. Next one is archer. The movement is 3, damage 100, health 100, range 6, and it costs 100. The next one is a mage. The movement is 4, the damage is 200, health is 100, range is 4, and it costs 100. The next one is a halberd J. The movement is 4, the damage is 200, the health is 200, the range is 2, and it costs 75. The next one is a knight. The movement is 4, the damage is 300, the health is 300, the range is 1, and it costs 100. The best one you can use is a champion. The movement is 4, the damage you can deal is 400, the health is 600, the range is 1, and it costs 200. If you want to use a different formation, just right click on Knight Dorian again and select Formation. Here you can see the beginning letter of every uh, unit you have and you can move it across the field. So if you want to start your mage here, you start your mage there. Same with your champion, knight and halberd J. If you're done, accept. If you want to reset at your old one, use reset. If you want, want a default one, use default and it will automatically uh, select the formation for you. Here are some tips and tricks uh, on what units to use uh, against your opponent units. Uh, scouts can be used against archers, mages and scouts. Um, foot soldiers against scouts and halberdiers. Halberdiers against knights, halberdiers, archers and mages. Knights against champions and knights. Archers against everything except champions. And mages, the same thing, everything except champions. And champions can be used good against knights and champions. Well, this was the end of my guide. Please thumbs up, uh, comment, rate and subscribe. I really need it. Don't just watch my videos. Also, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.